Good afternoon. Welcome, everybody. I'm Dave Gustin, the director of the School for the Future of Innovation Society, and welcome to our 2021 School Awards Ceremony. This is really, as, as, as I've expressed before, uh, my favorite event of the school year. I like it even more than uh, convocation and commencement because it's a, a somewhat a more personal affair where we get to uh, come together as faculty, staff, and students and recognize uh, people's achievements, people's contributions uh, across the school in all those categories. And we have a really, I think, uh, fun and interesting program for you today, despite the fact that we are, of course, perforce virtual. We have lots of wonderful uh, people and wonderful contributions to recognize. And I want to start off. Uh, first, by thanking uh, Cindy Dick and Melissa Waite, who have been just sort of magical in their ability to bring this awards ceremony together. They are uh, operating behind the scenes and have done a tremendous job in, uh, in organizing and pulling this together. So thank you guys very, very much. Um, so next, I'm going to turn it over to uh, Katina Michael. Thank you, Kathleen. Uh, it's my absolute honor to present the PIT Personal Achievement Award to Toby Shuriff. This personal achievement reflects Toby's endurance, and she wanted to mention the whole class's endurance as we all went through the pandemic together. In her case, she was able to balance family, work, and learning amidst COVID-19, and she was always smiling at every single class, always ready to share and to give and to go beyond the hour if it was an hour that we had dedicated together. Toby's husband is an essential worker. She was an inspiration to her class and many of her classmates describe her as the glue to the PIT program and they could never actually imagine PIT and going through PIT without her, which I think is an accolade in itself. You probably only meet people like Toby once in a lifetime. We've been very fortunate in PIT to have this multiple explosion occur. She continued her full-time work in the field of domestic violence, supporting community advocates in using technology to support survivors, conducting a needs assessment and helping to launch a new technology abuse website in the United Kingdom, which was yet another time zone. And here at SFIS, she's connected deeply with her fellow students and they love and respect her and she loves and respects them. They're often online on Slack at all hours of the day and night. And later in the year, we get to see her in action with the Graduate Student Organization. Congratulations, Toby Shoroff. Over to you for a few words. Tina, thank you so much. And um, thank you to everyone at SFIS. I um, just hear the echoes in my fellow um, award winners that um, we are, are able to have these successes because of the strength of the SFIS community, uh, the faculty, the staff, uh, our fellow students, uh, the entire support mechanism of ASU that, that supports the school. Um, it is these connections that make it possible to overcome the difficulties that um, have been spoken of for each one of us who have received awards, but also for each one of us who are students in the middle of a global pandemic and living with uh, the struggles of, of racism and inequity that we are facing in an ongoing basis. And I am just so, so grateful to be a part of this community and want to continue to give back in every way that I can to help everyone else along in their, their journey uh, to, to help create these futures uh, that we are envisioning and, and bringing into being. So thank you so much, Katina, and thank you so much to everyone. Thank you, Toby. We look forward to seeing you grow and develop into a future academic. Now I'd like to pass the baton over to Dave Gustin. Thank you, Dave. Thank you, Katina. Um, another reason why this is my favorite event for the school is because as a uh, school director, I no longer have the chance to get to learn about each of the students within the school. Uh, we've grown so much. I have administrative duties. I'm no longer teaching uh, ASU 101 to our first year undergraduate students. And to hear the stories of you all and to hear you speak about the connections that you found here at SFIS could not make me more proud of what we all together 
uh, have built in the school. So to, uh, to Jenna, to Maya, to Daniel, to Rajiv, to Brittany, to Rashad, to Jenna again, to Toby, thank you, thank you so much for the spirit that you have brought to the school. Um, now it's my pleasure to turn to some of the faculty awards and we'll be getting right back to Katina Michael, who is this year's recipient of the Excellence in Education Award, which is presented annually to an SFIS teaching faculty member for their inspirational guidance and commitment to the intellectual development of students. And one of the things that I get to do uh, as director of the school, um, well, now that Kathleen has been on as deputy director, I did it a little less this year, um, is read through everybody's teaching evaluations. And our Excellence in Education Award is not necessarily about classroom teaching, but the fun thing about reading those teaching evaluations is that every year, every semester really, I get to see students say things about a half a dozen different members of my faculty. Um, this is the best class, this is the best teacher I have had at ASU. And so there's a wealth of faculty members from the school to choose from in thinking about excellence in education. But this is not an award that's strictly about classroom teaching. It's about everything else in education too. It's about mentorship. It's about inspiration. It is about dedication. It is about bringing a, a spirit of sharing and a dedication to student success to the classroom and to everything that this person does. And Katina, well, Katina has unfortunately spent, uh, for us, unfortunately spent the better part of the year uh, in her native Australia, where her family is, uh, which means that Katina has been a day ahead of us operationally in most of what we've done. But uh, conceptually and in terms of her dedication to students, she's not just a day ahead of most of us, she's light years ahead of most of us. And that is why she is winning this award this year. So Katina, thank you so much for the work that you've done from afar, physically distant, but emotionally, intellectually present every moment of every day in this quite terrible year. Thank you. Thank you, Dave Gustin, and thank you to my colleagues, to everyone who's on the call. Uh, this is the sweetest award of them all, to be honest, and it's a collective award because learning is a bi-directional process. So I feel I'm sharing in this with all of you. As you know, I'm not bulletproof and I'm not foolproof at every point. I try my best as we all uh, are patient with one another. But I want to acknowledge my students first and foremost, who are my teachers. They're my equals. They're our future, our hope. Thank you. You're amazing. To my colleagues and SFIS leadership, thank you for finding me to help me find myself and to help me find my natural voice. To my friends, you make waking up in the middle of the night the next day so worth it. You're such a beautiful mystery to me and I love you dearly, absolutely dearly from my heart. To my family, thank you for teaching me that all things are possible, especially my parents who knew the value of education that they never had the chance to have one. To my husband who told me I should do a PhD and enter academia and I said, what's that? What's a PhD? And I said, okay, I'll do a PhD. And then I also said, I do. I married him about 27 years ago. To my kids, thank you for your patience and your ability to share me with other people. You're so unselfish and you're incredible. And to that powerful force that is hypostatic, and I feel it in my heart right there and my brain, my mind, and it's always there to help me to do things I want to do in synergy. It makes me get up in the morning, in the middle of the night and go, I'm going to go and connect with people that I adore. So thank you, SFIS, to SPEC, to Pitt and to ASU. Thank you very much. Thank you, Katina, and congratulations again. And as if in acknowledgement of uh, Katina's statement that learning is a collaborative endeavor. It is my next pleasure to introduce the Champions of the Future Award. The Champions of the Future Award is awarded to a student, group of student, or teams across any SFIS degree program for an activity, project, or accomplishment within one of four areas, building a better future for everyone, community building, 
personal achievement or outstanding excellence. This year's recipients are 10 students from the Public Interest Technology uh, Class 502 cohort for their co-design the future challenge led by none other than Professor Katina Michael. Uh, Katina in uh, submitting the nomination writes that the community building for the Champion of the Future Award was selected because of their, uh, their team building. This class wove together questions, ideas, and personal and professional experiences. They supported each other in exploring the true meaning and possibilities of co-design to empower communities and individuals to shape technology. The experience of their learning community was perhaps once in a lifetime opportunity where they learned with and from each other. Each person showed up with great courage to share their visions for the future, their struggle in the past and present, and most importantly, to co-create a body of knowledge and skills that can be taken forward into all our future studies and work. And we've asked that Pooja Shitri and Colby Holabao to uh, say a few words on behalf of this really tremendous cohort. Congratulations and thank you. It is my profound honor to accept this award on behalf of the Spring Co-Design the Future cohort. The entire class is incredibly grateful, not just for the award, but for the opportunity to serve. So thank you to those who shared their stories with us, led us with their knowledge and opened their hearts, homes, and businesses, allowing us to truly innovate together in building solutions to the problems we face. We promise that this award will be just the beginning of a life of uplifting and empowering our communities. Thank you again for the honor. The entire cohort is incredibly grateful. I think it will be appropriate to finish by quoting the very first note I jotted down in PIT 502. We do not build solutions for each other, but with each other. Uh, thank you, thank you so much. Uh, it, is, it is my honor, it is my great honor to be uh, receiving this award on behalf of my class. Uh, there is not much to say. Um, uh, Colby has already said, said everything. So I want to just give a big shout out to my entire cohort. Um, secondly, I, I'm really grateful to be um, a part of this cohort. I like personally, I was the very last minute addition to this. So I th like thank uh, Dr. Michael for allowing me to be a part of this. And as Colby said that um, we are building these solutions. Th uh, with and with everyone so yeah thank you so much <laughs>